Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to put sound effects onto visual effects. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add sound effects to this. So this is Guardian from the Omega Raids. As you can see, currently his appearance, his appearance visual effect and his attack visual effect don't currently have sound effects on them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some using the editor. But let me show you first the index file. So here's the index file for sound effects. It's 070000. Now of course this is fairly out of date. Um, but if you're looking for like a sound effects file path format, this is where you can look. Um, like these are voiceover lines. As you can see, they're all just numbers. So it is a case of you will have to plug and play to try to figure out what voiceover line does what. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract sounds from the game. So like a lot of visual effects don't have sounds already like this. That's because their sounds are actually in the TMB files themselves. So I'm going to use my notepad where I already have the TMB file set up. So here's the file path and I'm just going to use raw file operations and extract raw file. Uh, if you've seen my summon creation video you already know how to use this. So extract file, uh, guardian, I already have them all extracted. So I'm going to just save it, save over it. Alright, so I've extracted 01. You would do that for all of guardian's TMBs to get all of the, to find any visual effects possible on their, t on the robot's TMB files. So then I open it in hex code edit and as you can see I've already opened them and what you'll find are file paths that look like this sound slash visual effect or vfx slash monster six and then a file name so this is a sound file uh, there's another one right here this is a sound file minus that period yeah, so that's uh, hard copy. There we go. Alright, so this is a sound file. Um, and two, right here is a sound file. So what I do is I then go and transcribe the sound file paths for every TMB into this uh, Google Sheet. Uh, this is in this is in the reference folder that anyone can access. As you can see, I've done quite a few. I'll, I'm sure I'll do more in the future. Uh, it's definitely not a complete list, but it's got quite a few creatures already. Uh, using the TM using TMB extra extraction, you can do the same thing with ability visual effects. Um, pretty much, yeah. Uh, these are player abilities. So, like, you can extract them for player abilities. Uh, you won't be able, you won't really find voiceover lines that way. That's usually just the case of knowing the file path, plugging it in, and testing each number until you find what you want. And there are a lot, so it's usually best to like test it in you know, groups of 10, or like skipping 10, <laughs> uh, otherwise you, you'll be testing for a while. But as you can see, I've already chosen visual effects that I want to use for Guardian, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So this is for his appearance, or for when he like appears on the field. In order to generate a visual effect for that, because I can't add a visual effect to the special pop file, which is what plays whenever he appears. There may be a way 
probably with the PAP editor, but I haven't really figured that out. So what I use instead is I use the metadata. Um, <coughs> with the metadata, you can change visual effect ID from 0 to 1, and then hit apply to all variants, and save it. And that will generate a visual effect file path for that metadata, like this. So this would be a visual effect file path for Ruby Afrit. Um, but I've already done that. So I'm going to go back into the game. And where I did that before, like this. So here's the uh, appear visual effect that I created, or that I, I'm using. No sound at the moment. So what I do is you click add sound on one of the emitters. I chose emitter 3 because it has the longest duration, so it's most likely to play the entire clip. And then I'll just paste the sound effect that I copied into there. Hit update here, and then hit update here. Now, when I play it, and there we go, there's sound added to that visual effect. Um, one of the things to keep in mind with metadata files is if you want that visual effect to actually play when at the time you know the creature actually appears, you have to give it a delay. I usually use 21 frames just because if you don't use a, sig a pretty good delay on it, it it acts like it wants to play right when the creature is being called upon but doesn't actually appear yet, so the visual effect or the sound won't play. I'll give you an I'll show you an example here. Let's do I'll do Titan. So I have 21 on there, but let's say I change that to 0. And then I add the sound here. Update, update. Now if I hit Titan, see, it didn't play. You got like the very tail end, but the first parts didn't play. So you have to have a delay. refresh my gems here. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and add the sound effects to for the attacks. So I'm going to go into the attack visual effect that I chose. Add sound. Update. Update. And I'm going to do the same thing for the Titan version. Add sound. Update. Update. Now, I'm testing it myself. Alright, there's sound for that one. Alright, sound for that one. So now, I have this one that has the 21 frame delay. And this is Ruby Ifrit's version. See? So you re you need to have that delay in there for the sound to actually play. Alright. Go ahead and refresh my gens again here. So what I have now are visual effects for Guardian that have sound for them. Now let me show you what to do with voiceover. It's essentially the exact same thing. So I'm going to use let's, let's use the classic. I don't need that entire thing. I just want this. So here's the classic voiceover line everyone knows. Update, update. Sloppy. Yeah. Sloppy. So yeah, you've got you can use a voiceover line. Again, it's just a case of you're gonna have to 
search through the numbers to try to find the one you want or try to land on the character or summon you want. Not everything has voiceover lines, so good luck <laughs> with that. Um, with voiceover lines, you have English, which is EN, then you have Japanese. Update, update. <coughs> Apparently, Sloppy plays for English, but the other ones? So, Dutch is DE. Update, update. <laughs> Lineuft. <laughs> okay, and then FR is for French. Update, update. Spawn. <laughs> so yeah, it's the same number. You just change those last two letters to get different um, languages. Go back to English. Update, update. Sloppy. Spawn. There we go. So. Now what I do is I'll go ahead and well I'm not gonna export these all together. Oh, actually I can. I'll just export them and then pick and choose which ones I download. So Guardian Visual Effects Finished. Alright. So now I'll just import them using text tools, package them with Guardian, and he'll be finished. Alright, and that's how you add sound effects and voiceover lines to visual effects.